Number 49. Consider this question. What is the mass of a solute in 0.55 liters of 0.30 molarity glucose, which is C6H12O6, used for an intravenous injection? Letter A. We need to outline the steps necessary to answer the question, and then obviously B, we have to answer the question. Okay, so the question is basically what is the mass of something, right? And a mass is always in grams. So we're finding basically the grams of something, and they gave us two pieces of information. They gave us the volume, 0.5 liters, and they gave us the molarity. I know that this is a molarity because capital M stands for molarity. So they gave us two things, right? They gave us molarity and liters, and we need to know the mass. However, the first thing that we should be thinking of is, well, I'm, I'm talking about molarity. What's the molarity formula? Now, we've done tons of problems in which we, we did the straightforward molarity formula. If you guys are on the playlist, go back a couple of questions and you'll see the full-blown equation. However, I want to try to always show you, you know, different things that, you know, might work better. So in this case, I'd like to use this little special triangle that I made right here. Ooh, now yours doesn't have to be as pretty as mine, all right? But the, the thing that we basically have to, let me just resize this. The thing that we basically have to, to do is just make a triangle, right? Have the break. It's like a T break in the middle of the triangle. And just make sure that you put molarity on this box, moles up on top, and the liters on the bottom, or the bottom right. Now, let's see. They gave us the molarity, right? And so I'll put like a check here. And they gave us the volume. So I have a check here. What is missing here, guys? Ah, from a molarity and from a liter, we can always find the moles. So... Step A, or letter A, right? The first step that we would have to do is find the moles of the compound that they told us, C6H12O6. That's by using the molarity formula, aka just organizing our thoughts in this little triangle. Then what would be the second step? Okay, now since we found the moles, right? Is that what the question's asking for? No, the question's asking for what's the mass in grams. But of our little tricks down here, right? If they, or if we found out a mole of something, and I labeled it as X, meaning any, any compound or element, I could always go from a mole of that uh, compound or element to the grams of the same compound or element. And that's what they're asking for. They're asking for grams. How do we do that? Well, I just take the moles that I have, and I multiply by the molecular weight. It's the same thing as the molecular mass, uh, molar mass. It's the number on the periodic table. So that would be basically step two. I would then go from moles of C6H12O6 to the grams of C6H12O6 by just doing a simple conversion. Now, you could do dimensional analysis as well. It doesn't matter to me. You'll still get the same answer. So there's, this is a two-step problem. Now, let's actually figure out how to do the math. So this is all for part B. So the first thing we got to do is find the moles. And this is a little handy-dandy chart because what I like to do is whatever you're solving for, right? In this case, we have to solve for moles because we know the molarity and we know the liters. So what I like to do and on a sheet of paper, what you're going to do is you're going to put your thumb or any one of your phalanges, aka fingers, <laughs> um, over the one that you're trying to solve for. So for in this case, I am solving for moles. So I'm going to say this is the moles and this equals. Now, if you just hover your finger over the mole, you get this idea. Since these are on the same level, they're both on the bottom this would be multiplication. If you had to go, you know, from top to bottom, this would be division. But since molarity and liters are on the same level, it's multiplication. So moles always equals molarity times liters. It's just an easy way to just basically solve for other things that's not molarity. Okay, 
So let's do it. The moles would equal the molarity, 0.30 M, right? And then the liters, which is 0 0.500. So moles equals, calcies out, 0.3 divided, uh, 0.3 times 0.5 would be uh, 1.5, I believe. Yeah, point, uh, point 0.15, that's what I meant. So this would be 0 0.15 moles of C6H12O6. Okay, the first part is done, right? We found the moles by using the formula. Now we have to convert moles into grams. And we just talked about that over here. We have the moles. We want to get to grams. So I just take my number. In this case, it's 0.15 and times it by the molecular weight. So I'm going to do 0 0.15 moles of C6H12O6, right? And you could just put the number. It doesn't matter to me. But all we have to do is just multiply by the molecular weight. But they didn't tell me what the molecular weight was. So we have to find it. Ah, so I'm just going to put it up here, right? Molecular weight or molar mass, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing. C6H12O6 is, now we've done tons of practice, right? Go on that periodic table and find out what the weight is of C6H12O6. I'm going to get my weight. You get yours. Let's see if our answer comes relatively close to one another. So I have six carbons. Each carbon roughly weighs 12. I'm going to get the exact numbers. Uh, we have 12 hydrogens, okay, and then we have six oxygens, so roughly, whoop, hold the phone here, what did I do, that's what I did, there we go, so roughly I have 180.156 grams per mole, the units of molecular weight or molar mass is grams per mole, so that's what we have to multiply our moles by, so 180.156 grams per mole. And when we do that multiplication, we will get our answer out in grams. That's all we did. Moles times molecular weight equals grams. So let's just do it. This times 0.15, right? 180 times 0.15, roughly we get, I'm going to use sig figs. Lowest number of sig figs is two. So this is roughly 27 grams of C6H12O6. And that is it. Now I noticed uh, that my units are in grams here, right? Because mole cancels out with mole. So you're only left with the unit of gram. But if you just know this, your answer is going to be in grams too. So it really doesn't matter if you cancel out. And this is what they wanted, right? They wanted grams. What was the mass? The mass is in grams. So this is the answer, 27 grams. That's it. That's how much we would need for this intravenous injection, 27 grams. Guys, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you like to. Like the video. Just lets us know that we're doing our job right. But either way, I'll see you guys all in the next lesson for more molarity fun. And yeah, see you then. Bye-bye.